Give him heart to pray. Helping some soul each day. Give me a heart to sing that praise. Give me a heart unto. Give me a mind. Go all the way. Give me a heart to pray. Helping some soul each day. Give me a voice to sing thy praise. Give me a work to do. Long as my strength endures. Give me a heart to be earnest and true. Give me a song to sing. Praise Him. Give me a life to live for You. Give me a helping hand that I may firmly stand. Give me Thy presence, Lord. Every day. Give me thy saving power. Filling me every hour. Give me thy spirit. All the way. Give me a heart to love. To love. Unto that home. Give me a mind all the way. Give me a heart to pray. Helping some soul each day. Give me a voice. Give me a work to do. Let me hear you. Lord is my strength. Give me a heart to be earnest and true. Give me a song to sing. Praise Him. Give me a life. the name on our prayer list and we are praying for you. Mr. Sharon Washington and family in their hour of bereavement. Yes, Lord. Sister Brenda Anderson, Michelle Whalem, Reverend Hopkins, the Baptist Ministers Union, Sister Audrey Smith, Denise Miller. And let me say to Pastor Hopkins, I certainly enjoyed the message on Tuesday. You preached out of your soul. God bless you, Pastor Hopkins. Faith will keep you. Hang in there, Pastor Hopkins. Bishop Pringle and his Christian network, Mrs. Lopez, Monique Braxton, Joe Calderon, Linda Taylor, Nikki Lynette German, Nikki Savage, Cotina Cleveland, Juliet Smith, Nancy Overlander, Chris Wilson, Eddie Gray, Miriam Lopez, Robert George, Brian Reeves, 
Henry Quinbush, Art Crum, Roscoe Mosley Sr. and Roscoe Mosley Jr. John Mosley III, Christopher Morlock, Larry Stewart, Danny Ray and Robert Stuman, Brenda Marr in St. Louis, Brother Grover Brown, Ebony Hill, Rhonda Ely, Jared Penna, Paul Cotton, the mother of Daryl Johnson, Sister Mary Jane Jones family, Calvin Burns, Margaret Brooks, Shawnee Tay Mitchell, Teresa Johnson, Amber Fisher, Stanton Royal, Carol Sims, Jesse Love, K.D. Welch, Katina Hernandez Brown Lee, Adria O'Brien, Melinda Martin, Odessa Johnson, Vicki Wilborn, Mr. Trammell, Josie Harris, Ronald Wilborn, Juanita, Juanita Johnson, Jazz Harding, Tara, Michael Braxton Sr. and Michael Baxter Jr., Sue Bells, Alondra Jackson, the family of Haley Crosby in their hour of bereavement. Jerry Paul, Montana Peters, Zudi Fordardo, Mrs. Finch, Shamia Jordan, Pamela Jordan, Gwen Hagro, Jackie Jackie James, Jean Gardner and family in their hour of bereavement. And my brother, Elder Carter in Phoenix, Arizona. He and his wife, Sister Yvonne Carter, we go back a long way. Back to England, London, England. We're praying for you, Elder Carter. Reverend, God, don't leave you. He said he will never leave you nor forsake you. He knows what the future holds. That's one thing about it. He's not like man who will leave you during uh, your sickness and your illnesses. But God will never leave you. Let us pray, church. For those who are sick and afflicted and confused. Some, some just don't know which way to go. But God is the answer. Jesus is the answer. The late Reverend James Cleveland wrote a song, Christ is the answer. Let us pray. All wise and almighty God, the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The one who died on Calvary for our sins, rose on the third day for our justification. Lord Jesus, you said, whatsoever we ask in your name, that you would do it. We call on you this morning on the pleading terms of new mercy. Thanking you for watching and taking care of us while we slept and slumbered in the image of death. Touching us this morning, once again, our eyes came open. And Lord, thank you for the mind to be here this morning. We call on you because we have called on you in time past. And you have heard and answered our prayers. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Lord, thank you for hearing and answering our prayers. The names that are on our prayer list, Lord, you know their condition. And on the prayer board, you know their condition. Please sir, have mercy. We need you this morning. When we got up this morning, we needed you. 
And those names that are on the prayer list, Lord, medicine in some cases are not doing any good. But just to touch the hem of your garment, just to touch. If you touch, Lord Jesus, healing takes place. Oh, some of us know about that. Lord. Oh, yes, you are healer. Your mind regulator, heart fixer. Look upon us this morning, Lord. Look upon them. Look upon the boys, the girls, and the men and women who's walking the street don't know you in the part of their sins. Look upon this neighborhood, Lord. Touch their hearts. All turn around before it's everlasting too late. We pray thee in the name of Jesus, Father God. Look upon once again the sick and the afflicted, the names that are on our prayer list. You are there, Lord. Look upon those in convalescent homes. You are there. Yes, you are. Look upon Dr. J. Alfred Smith this morning. Touch his body. Touch him, Lord. Thank you for allowing me to be his friend. Thank you, God. In these last days. And Master, when this life journey comes to an end, we too, like others, must quit this walk of life to study war no more. Over yonder where every day will be Sunday. Sabbath will have no end. Let the Ah! 
clap those hands to the glory of God. Took them around.
We have lost without you. So lost without you. But you said if we seek, Lord, if we seek you, and turn from our wicked, our wicked ways, you promise. If we don't hear, if we don't hear from you, what will we do? What will we do? What will we do? We want to you, Lord. Show us your perfect way. There is no other way.
our next selection, Emmanuel, led by Sister Veronica George. Amen. Veronica George.
Atlas. blessed to be back in the house of prayer yeah. once more and again. Yeah. Not by our goodness nor, yeah. nor by our righteousness. No, no. Our Heavenly Father as your humble servants stand here before these your people your sheep and lambs I pray thee to take me out of self that your name will be glorified. O oh, oh God, O oh Thou who inhabitest the praises of Israel, yes. your church, O oh God, sanctify us Please, oh God. by Thy word. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your holy sight. We pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Thank you for hearing and answering yes, prayers. Thank you, thank you, God. Thank you for your Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. St. John, the third chapter, verses five through seven. A very inquisitive man by the name of Nicodemus <laughs> came to Jesus asking him a question. <laughs> Jesus answered, answered. Verily, verily, I say unto you, All right. except a man be born of water mm -hmm. and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. Yeah. And that which is born of the Spirit is Spirit. All right. Marvel not that I said unto you, ye must be, not might right. or maybe, you got to be, yes. you must be born again. Amen. Amen. Baptism. Amen. Amen. All right. Baptism. You may be seated. By the yes. Lord. I spoke on the pre-recording this morning about there are some who feel that after they believe and have been baptized and they sin, they need to be baptized over again. If you believed before you were baptized, All right. All right. Yes. You, that's the key. Yes. 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 Belief before, and what do you believe? Believe that Jesus right. is the Son of God yes. who died and rose again for your justification. Yes. He that believeth uh -huh. and is baptized shall be saved. Amen. 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 It's not he that is baptized then believe. No. There was, I uh, once stated that there was a, a visitor Caucasian Christian lady mm -hmm. who came and uh, was a part of our worship services. Yes. 
And I opened the doors of the church and I said, if you were baptized before you believed, you're not, that's the wrong way to do it. And she stood up and came forward and she said, all these years I've been working in the church, lost. She said, I said, well, do you want me to baptize you? She said, no, I like the church where I am. I said, well, you go back to that pastor and you explain to him that you were not a believer before you were baptized. Some parents push their children up to be, to be baptized before they believe. And then some want to be baptized over and over again because they, they sin. That's why Jesus died yes, on the cross where his blood covers yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes, our Lord. sins. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Conversion starts before mm -hmm. baptism Amen. in the heart. Amen. It is noted that there are over 4,000 religions in the world in which consists of churches, congregations, faith groups, tribes, cultures, and movements. For the practice one to preach and include the mentioned majority religions of the world. All right, all right. Which are in the major pardon me, the major religions of the world which are Judaism, right. Islam, mm -hmm. Hinduism, Buddhism, and, and, and no, no, uh, uh, time will not allow me to, in detail, mm -hmm. preach clarity about these uh, four, four major religions, nor do I have the faith and interest to do so. But the fifth and the most important major religion to me and over 3.8 billion believers is Christianity. Yeah. The major religion is what I will speak about to the best of my abilities, and that is the Christian faith. Yes. Of course, Judaism is absolutely included in the Christian religion of faith because Christianity is founded on Christ Jesus. Amen. He was in the beginning yeah. Yes. In the, Christianity came out of Judaism. Uh -huh. Jesus, the founder mm -hmm. of the Christian faith, uh, left on record that he came not to destroy the law or the prophets. Right. Now, do you understand? Right. Read it for yourself in St. Matthew, the fifth chapter. And verse 17, think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So automatically Judaism is included. The law and the prophets automatically is included in Christ. Therefore, the Old Covenant, the Old Testament that is uh, concealed in the law and the prophets, and yes. totally revealed in Christ. Yes. Amen. In Christ Jesus. Are you, under, are you with me? Amen. Once again, the Old Covenant is 
concealed in the law and prophets, but revealed in Christ, who instituted the new covenant, which is the New Testament. We are scheduled tonight, be it the Lord's will, mm -hmm. to have the Lord's Supper. Amen. Is that correct? Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Nicodemus mm -hmm. asked Jesus, uh -huh. how can a man be born mm -hmm. when he is old? Mm -hmm. yes. Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? All right. Of course, you can read that in uh, St. John, the third chapter, verse 9. This sounds ridiculous to the natural, uh, cognitive, coherent intellectuals or intelligentsias of the world whether man, woman, boy, or girl, uh -huh. group, and the world, mm -hmm. especially when you have already been physically slapped on the buttocks, <laughs> when you have nursed on the breast or bottom, and especially when you know that you once wore diapers. How can I be born again? As Nicodemus asked him, as old as I am, am I supposed to go back into the womb or come out? How? Now, now this is where I have trouble with reincarn reincarnation and the evolutionary process for perfection will never qualify or include being born again. Are you listening? Let me repeat that so it can absorb in your spirit. This is where I have trouble with the notion of reincarnation an evolutionary process which takes place to arrive at perfection which will never qualify or include being born again. You're still messed up with a nature that's not clean. You must be born again. Born of water and of the spirit. Paul says a new creature. Man's standard for perfection or a spiritual world will never qualify any man, woman, boy, or girl for heaven. Man's perfection and eternal life. Mm -hmm. For all life here on earth will some sooner or later be no more. Right, right. Then where is the evolutionary process? Right, right. The world will be destroyed by fire. Right. Then what about the atoms and mo molecules? Right. Where is perfection if there's a process of evolution taking place? If it's perfect, it never will be destroyed. But this world is going to be destroyed. No, not all Nicodemuses are dead. They're still asking the question, you must be born again, Nicodemus. But how? Born of the water and the spirit. Yes. Jesus says that heaven and earth will pass away, but not one jot or tittle 
of his word will pass away. Every word of Jesus will be fulfilled. You must be born again. One man, old, old white gentleman called me when I stood up for, I think it was against the homosexual uh, uh, movement. And he said I was on the wrong side of history. This is modern time now. This is, you have to get with the program. I said, well, uh, I'm going to be on the wrong side of history because I'm going to stay on the right side of God. God never changes. What he said, in the beginning, he means now. When the Lord brought the children of Israel out of Egypt through the Red Sea, which Exodus, the 14th chapter, and verse 22 says, And the children of Israel were went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground. And the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. Now the apostle Paul says that it was a baptism. For we read in 1 Corinthians, the 10th chapter, verse 1 through 4, that it was a baptism like unto Moses, in which the prophet Moses gave Israel the law. For the first, uh, uh, first Corinthians, verse 10, the 10th chapter, and verse 1 through 4 says, uh, in the King James Version, Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud. Yeah. That's God. Yeah. All passed through the sea yeah. and were all baptized uh -huh. unto Moses in the cloud uh -huh. and the sea uh -huh. and did all eat the same spiritual meat. And did all drink the same spiritual drink. Uh -huh. yes. For they were, for they drank of that spiritual rock yes. that yes. followed them. Yes. And that rock was Christ. Yes. Are you listening? Yes. I'm trying to tell you how important baptism yes. is. Yes. So they were baptized. Let me, let me read on, move on here. The easy reader version says, brothers and sisters, I want you to know that happened, what happened to our ancestors who were with Moses. They were all under the cloud and they all walked through the sea. They were all baptized into Moses, into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. Mm-hmm. They all ate the same spiritual food, yeah, yeah. and they all drank the same spiritual drink. Drink. Right, yeah. They drank from that spiritual rock that was with them, mm -hmm. and that rock was Christ. Yeah. The Lord led them, mm -hmm. talking about Israel, yes. the children of Israel, the Lord led them with a cloud yeah. by day in a pillow of fire by night. And may I say that this baptism was ordained by the Lord God because he had brought them out of a 400, 430 year bondage and channeled them through the water to be baptized uh, unto Moses in the Red Sea. He brought them, the children of Israel, out of an Egyptian bondage. Let me repeat that. He brought them, God, the Lord God, brought them, the children of Israel, out of an Egyptian bondage. A bondage that was humanly impossible to escape from. They had no outside 
uh, contact, no inside political power. It was God, the Lord God, who delivered them. Pharaoh and Egypt represented the devil's, uh, the devil and his power over human flesh and worldly goods. For Egypt controlled the world. Egypt was an empire yes. during the reign of King Pharaoh yes. who believed that he was a theocracy, uh -huh. half man and half God. Right. Mm -hmm. And when he boasted himself, mm -hmm. he boasted himself against God. Right. Right. Are you with me? Yeah. Yes, he believed that he was uh, impenetrable. Yeah. Nobody could take him down right. but God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and yes, Jacob yes. took nature, uh -huh. yeah. not by military might, right. but nature yes. and the death angel and brought Egypt down right. to a pauper nation. Yes. A nation without head uh -huh. and power yes. because he drowned the head yes. and the might. Because the same water, uh -huh. uh, waters that he saved and baptized the children of Israel uh -huh. through uh -huh. into freedom, yes. the Lord God took the same waters uh -huh. and drowned the yes. devil's representatives, yes. Pharaoh and his and his army. Uh -huh. Yeah, the old folks used to say, "Tell me, how did you feel when you came out?" of the water. Yes. Unfortunately, even though the children of Israel were baptized through the Red Sea, uh -huh. the Lord God on eagle's wings brought them, brought Israel, the children of Israel, out of a 400 year Egyptian bondage yes. and freed them by looking to a uh, toward a cloud by day uh -huh. and a pillow by night yes. that led them toward the promised land. Yes. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. They constantly look back unfortunately. Yes. They constantly yes. look back uh -huh. even though God had brought them out yes. and through the waters baptized them unto Moses, which gave them the law. They constantly look back. I'm talking about the children of Israel. They brought Egypt with them, even after saying all that the Lord had spoken, we will do. They brought Egypt with them. It is no different from many who join. Uh, this congregation and are uh, ask, are you willing uh, uh, to follow and go by the rules and regulations of God's church? And uh, and even last, every last one of them who for one reason or another said yes. Yes, meaning I will be willing to be ruled and governed by the rules and regulations of God's church. Yes. I'm under God. Yes. Moses was under the cloud which represented the Lord. Yes. I'm under God. Yes. I'm under Christ. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. I baptize under Christ. Yes. Now when they make these statements it's not unto me but under God. Pastor, teacher, preacher says that's a man shall not wear when a man, when I preach, let me, let me clarify this. But as soon as the pastor, after they have said that they're willing to be ruled and governed by the rules and regulations of God's church. And when I preach, uh, teach, and say that a man shall not wear that which 
pertaineth unto a woman and vice versa. For all that do so is an abomination to the Lord. Or a man shall not lie with mankind. For all that do so is an abomination unto the Lord. Or, uh, or thou shalt not commit adultery, or thou shalt not commit fornication, or thou shalt not steal, or thou shalt not rob, or thou, but not be a whisperer or embezzler, or thou shalt not lie. For all that do so shall have their part, talking about liars, in the lake that which burns with fire and brimstone. When they hear what thus saith the Lord, they leave the church with a grumbling excuse that nobody is perfect. Well, the Lord knows that. And the Lord God Jesus knows that. We grow, children, to perfection. If you truly believe in your heart that Jesus died and rose again, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. Mark, St. Mark, the 16th chapter, verse 16. Now, I know I'm zigzagging here, but stay with me. So the question arises in my mind, mm -hmm. those who were baptized and afterwards heard the word of the Lord taught and preached against their sin, mm -hmm. yeah. did they really believe in Jesus right. or was it a cosmetic belief oh. of emotionalisms oh. that made them feel that they could run with the hair right. and hold with the hound. Right. The children of Israel did just that. Right. They wanted it both ways. Right. With their lips, they served the Lord. Yes. But their hearts were far from him. Right. Exodus the 16th chapter verse 3 says, and the children of Israel said unto them, Would to God we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt. When we sat by the flesh pots and when we did eat bread to the full. For he have brought us forth into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. They're grumbling. Yes. Numbers the 11th chapter verse 1 through 5 says, And when the people complained, yes. it displeased right. the Lord. Right. And the Lord heard it. And his angel was kindled. And his anger, pardon me, was kindled. Uh -huh. And the fire of the Lord burnt among them. And consumed them that were in the uh, uttermost parts of the camp. And the people cried unto Moses. And when Moses prayed unto the Lord, the fire was quenched. Now remember, they were baptized unto Moses. They were there to hear Moses. God ordained that. Through bringing them through the water. When you are baptized in this congregation, uh -huh. the Lord ordained you to hear this pastor. Right. Yes. You're right. That's right. Amen. Yes. Amen. You're right. And the Bible says, and he called the name of the place Tabarath, because the fire of the Lord burnt among them. Oh, Lord. Yes. And the mixed multitude that was among them fell a lusting. And the children of Israel also wept again and said, who shall give us flesh to eat? We remember the fish. Listen to what they say. We remember the fish 
which we did eat in Egypt freely. They're not even back in slavery. Some people say you can't do nothing in, in the church. Uh, they had like, Rev. Scott won't let you do nothing. It's not me. I teach the word. I don't compromise with God. God's word. And I teach his word. I'm under Christ. I'm under the baptism. When I was baptized, I believed before I went into that water. He that believeth and is baptized. He called me to preach. He chose me to uh, preach Jesus. We're under baptism. All Christians are baptized. Bible says, uh, as uh, we go on in Numbers, we remember the flesh, the fish which we ate in Egypt freely. The cucumbers and the melons and the links and the uh, uh, onions and the garlic. They're back in Egypt. This was the Sunday school lesson, I believe. One. Wasn't it Sunday school lesson? Amen. About Amen. that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pharaoh and Egypt. Are you with me? Amen. Pharaoh and Egypt represents bondage yes. in right. sin. Right. Which it takes only Christ yes. Jesus yes. to set you free. Yes. The Lord brought them out of Egypt on eagle's wings. Yes. You had nothing to do with your birth. All right. All right. Amen. Yes. You're born from above. Right. Yes. Yes. How did the Lord Jesus set you free All right. from sin? All right. How did, I'm asking the question, All right. how did the Lord Jesus free your soul from the bondage of the devil and sin. Do you remember the day when he set you free yes. before you were baptized? Yes. The Lord God broke the yoke of Pharaoh yes. and Egypt before they left Egypt All right. by sending the death angel. Yes. yes. Where were you when the Lord Broke, broke your yoke of sin that had enslaved you. Where were you? St. John, the Lord Jesus is so merciful. Let your mind go back to your Egyptian and Pharaoh bondage and see who was able to set you free. Where were you when the Lord Jesus spoke to your soul? Peace. Where were you when Jesus spoke to your heart and freed those chains of sin that had bound your heart? Where were you? And then uh, your heart your soul, your mind began to sing, uh, I surrender all. I surrender all. All to him. My blessed Savior. All to him. I surrender. Where were you? When your heart and your soul began to sing, I surrender. Baptism in is more than just getting wet. Right. Baptism yes, is. is more than just immersion. Yes. Right. It's the death, burial, yes. and resurrection yes. into a new life yes. with Christ yes. being your new life pilot. Yes. Where were you right. when you went down in the water? I know one thing, as the old folks used to say, uh, when I came up out of the water, my hands 
look new. And my feet did too. Egypt represented a bondage yes. Yes. Uh, that the children of Israel yes. Yes. were unable to get out of. Yes. Right. But God, yes, yes uh, gave Moses instructions to tell the children of Israel yes. to take a lamb uh -huh. that's not spotted. Right. And kill it. Yes. And take the blood and put it over the lentils. Yes. The front of the door of top. Right. Because I'm going to send the death angel. Yes. And when he comes to your house and see the blood. Yes. The death angel will yes. pass over. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And when Israel... Uh, was eating and quietly hearing the moans and screams. Uh -huh. yeah. And I can imagine of the Egyptians' death right. yeah. all over Egypt. Yeah, yeah. yeah the Lord was freeing them yeah. before they ever left there. Right. Let me tell you, that was just symbolic uh -huh. of the Lamb of God yeah. who taken yeah. away the sin of the world. His name is Jesus. We couldn't uh, free ourselves. Regardless how many promises we made that we were going to do good. But the old flesh and sin had us bound to take us in that wrong direction. But Christ, the Lamb of God, He said if I be lifted up, from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. Well, I was just one of them. Where were you when he drew you? Uh, one, yes, uh, I was listening to my mother while she was reading the scriptures that this man wore a crown of thorn on his head. Blood was dripping down. She was trying to get me into church. Before that time, uh -huh. I hated church because I used to love to play often. And I couldn't play sitting in that hot choir stand. All right, uh, uh, yeah, the parents took us in the choir stand. Yeah, yeah. And you better not want to get out of there. Yeah. But when she read the story yeah. about yeah. how this man was wearing a crown of thorns yeah. and they was beating him, I said, if this man could do this for me, I can surely, I can surely be baptized. I believed that this man died for me. I believe that he died for me. It took Jesus to bring salvation in my heart. I believe in this Christ before yeah. I was baptized. Yeah. You got to be born of the water yeah. and of the spirit. Yeah. I thank God yeah. for his Holy Spirit. Yeah. Uh, I had my day of Pentecost after baptism. Yeah. My mother came in from before she was going to work. She said, Maurice, let's go to the altar. Uh -huh. It was about four o'clock and she worked midnights. Uh -huh. And she said, I believe the Lord will save his soul. Yes. So I went to the altar and I began to pray. She said, lift up your hands uh -huh. yes. to the Lord. Yes. Yes. Put your mind yes. on the Lord. Yes. My mind went up and the image came in my mind. Yes. And I began to pray and ask him to forgive me and save my soul. Yes. The next thing I knew I was saying, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, you don't know what I'm talking about. Tears were rolling down my eyes. I couldn't wait to get to church that night to tell the congregation that I'm saved. Yeah, I'm saved. That's been some time ago. I've been rising and 
falling, but he kept me. He still leads me by the still waters. I'm glad now. I'm all I'm up in age, but he hasn't left me. I'm still saved. I'm sanctified. Filled with the Holy Ghost. What about you? What did you feel when you came out the wilderness? How did you feel when you touched your soul? How did you feel when you went down? But the joy, he walks with me. The joy, he talks with me. This morning, you're going down in the water. When you go down, you ought to feel something. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. Hallelujah. The doors of the church is open. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was We have communion tonight. All Christians receive communion. It's the Lord's Supper. not a brunch or lunch or breakfast. It's the Lord's Supper. Amen. All Christians take the Lord's Supper. Yeah. Oh Lord, until tonight, those who are Zooming and Roscoe, let me see you, my man. Amen. And all my homeless, those who are homeless, who are members here, we're praying for you. We miss you too. Lord, I know was the blood. 